Number six, Ethan Henry. But that's a nice run. Corner squad to the left side. Then the four, second and six. Ball started on the point at 37. Run up the middle, stop by number 14, Dad Stewart Dewey. First and 10 Hornets, ball started on the fire, third four. Points back in the territory on the 46. First and 20. Run the middle. Right on the play, but the tackle was made by number 21 for the Pirates. going to be with the Pirates. <laughs> 15 yard pin in. The ball is going to be started on the Pirate 33. First and 10 Hornets. Let's go Pirate defense. Number 21 on the shot for the Pirates. Point started over the left side. Down to the Pirate 34. Third and 11 for the Hornets. Let's go, defense. Pass caught on the 32 or close, so it's going to be short. More like the 28 yard line, so it's fourth and about five for the points. A 
All right, Pirate fans, let's show the Pirates some love. Defense. Come out, here's Perry. We see them move the chains, going to the first down. Ball to the start on the Pirates 21. Touchdown Hornets. Point after 10, good by number 10, Max Tracy. The 5 team, the 5 19 to go in the first quarter. That was a Pirates 14, Ashford Hornets 7. Kick off the fair caught by number eight to the Pirates, Brandon Razor. Up 
Hurts had the ball on the 42 yard line, first and 10. Hornets defense on the field. Number 16, Daniel Smith. Win for the touchdown. Go to play on the field. Clock foul, so it'll be first and six for the Pirates. Balls on the Pirate Bank seven. Number one, Colin Young gets his way out to the 44 yard line, the home 44. So that's enough for the guys on Pirates. Seven, Percy Wright. Fights for yards. It's all the way down to the one at 31 yard line. or close. That's going to be enough for a guy on Pirates. And then some. Number 11, Brent Middleton on the campus. Game of eight on the play. Second and two for the Pirates. Ball starting on the point three. three. Alan Young on the kick. Nice blocking by the line on the left side over there. That's going to be enough for a Gosmo Pirate. Ball should be spotted on the Hornet 13. Beautiful. This opportunity to die, take it with too much speed. No, not fast. Second down. And there's a flag on the five. Well done. Okay. 
against the Hornets. That's going to put the ball on the Hornets five yard line. First. Daniel Smith on the carry. I believe it's right there on the half yard line. So second and goal. Touchdown, Curry! Sebastian Laura, third one tonight. That's going to make the score. Headed for the point. Seven. The very own Pirates. 21. How about them Pirates? Off the turn by number three, Ethan Chambers for home. He gets up to the 36 yard line. Or to be in power defense on the field. Seven on the carry for the Hornets. Gavin Kendall gets enough for a Hornet first down. The ball started on the 24 7. Great guy in the backfield along with number four. Carson Talley, lost in the play. Take it down and 11. Pass incomplete. Third and eleven.
I'm going to play here. Let's see what the rest of them say. All right, football. So we're near the 32 yard line. A lot of blue jerseys going to the ball there. Good job, Beaston. Dan Williams keeps his way around, around the uh, Hornet 34 yard line. Pick up of eight yards, second and two. Picked off. Number two. Darius Tate. So the Hornet football somewhere near the Hornet 29 yard line. Power defense on the two. Started to walk the left side, Craig Adams stopped him. Here's Jamie Smith in the assist. Second down and two for the points. That's going to do it for the first quarter. Here's third point, seven, the Dallas and Pirates, 21. Cheerleaders, we got an announcement. The Gosling School Administration would like all the Gosling alumni to please stand. They want to take a picture of you guys. I don't know why, but they want to take a picture of you guys. Please stand for the administration so they can get a picture. Thank you very much. Get ready to start for the second quarter. It's second and ten points on their own 29 yard line.
Going out there, Kemp was just a little bit off. You know, started the second quarter. Head first point, seven. Dallas and Pirates, ten seconds. Lord set the kick. <laughs> Number three. The ball for the and the kick off the turn. Eight and ten. Stop by number 18 with the Pirates. There's Maloney. Put the other one. Good job. Points ahead of the ball on the 34 yard line. First and 10. Pirates at 10 2. Sanders in on the carry. Positive yards down near the 42. Second and two. Good job, young man. Believe it. On the stop. Crazy green. Host the Pirates and tackle. Fourth and long, the ball is started on the point, 34. Oh, 
Good defensive sense by our Pirates. Good coverage. Point, uh, two point conversion, no good. With 9.18 to go in the first half, point seven. All right, 33. How about them, Pirates? Host the blue jerseys in any shop there. All the one for the ball. Set it down in 14 for the point. Thank 
Vamos dar a bola primeiro aqui. Força. Aí. Força, vamos. Está de pá. First down, signal to referee, moving the chains. Ball started on the one, twenty six. Robert Snap, I believe, and Young is wrapped up in the backfield. So it's going to be second long for the Pirates. If he's probably on the corner 37. Thank <laughs> you. 
Beautiful pass. Middleton to Williams, I believe. With Sam Williams on the receiving end of that. This is standing on the 12 yard line. No, it's 17 yard line. Third and about a yard for our pilots. Yeah, they just got him all the way down to the five. That's going to be enough for a dog apart. First down for the first and goal. After Fox 27, of course. Another mishap in the backfield, but I believe Young hangs on to it. Good defense by the Hornets. And the team two in the backfield. Blake and Howard. So third and goal from the 11 yard line. Incomplete in the end zone, but it brings up fourth down. Just a little short. Fourth down now, so that can top or field goal here. Sebastian Roy in a tent from the 14 yard line to 24 yard line. That's okay. Good job. 2.7 to go in the half. Point seven the Pirates. 33. Down by the Pirates. Oh, yeah, he's Jacob on that. Pass coverage. Second team. Then the Hornet, nine yards.
Off sides. Off sides to Dink Street. Hornets. Bring it back five yards. Thirty nine. Number forty seven. All there for the points. You get the first down, that's Gavin Kimber also retired on the point eighteen. Good is made by number 39, J.D. Young. Second and 12. Fourth down for the point. All right, that's going to do it for the first half. So, there's for the point. Very own guys are pirates. 33. Stick around. We got a lot of homecoming activities to take place here, and we're fixing to crank her up. season every Friday before a game, whether it's home or away, we feed the entire football team. We have had so many sponsors this year, gosh, I can't even name them all, but there are a few that I want to recognize that we have not mentioned when we had a couple of five games. Glimmer and Glow, Tasha Trap, thank you, her husband, Mr. Trap, and his construction date are is it JRT? Construction, sorry, Mr. Trap. We have had AIM Industries, Doug Johnson, along with H4 Graphics. 
We were Kyle Hansen and Alex and Hansen. We have Bronner Collision. We have had Folk Auto Sales. We have had Mid Nutrition Loop with Morgan Middleton. Thank you. Thank you all very much. And for all of the parents that have helped us serve the team every Friday. I thank every one of you. You know who you are, and I greatly appreciate it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the presentation of the 2023-2024 Homecoming Court, chosen by the student body of Goswell High School. Let's try this again. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the presentation of the 2023-2024 Homecoming Book, chosen by the student body of Goswell High School. This year's freshman princess is Angel Jackson. She is the daughter of Kelvin and Chiquita Jackson. She is a part of Master. After graduation, she plans to attend the Dance Academy Alcorn State University, aka the Golden Girls, or follow in the footsteps of her mom and go to a football middle school. The person she admires most is her mom, because she is very hardworking and always has money. Angel really admires that when her mom is hurting, she keeps going. Angel also admires her dad because he is her ATM. Her favorite hobbies include dancing, running track, being the basketball manager, and singing in choir. Her words of advice are, the best way to predict your future is to create it. This year's freshman prince is Thomas Reddit. He is the son of Brittany Thomas and Thomas Reddit. He is a member of the Gosnell Junior High football team and FFA. After graduation, Thomas plans to go to college to be a pediatrician and for sports management. The person he admires most is his mom, because she keeps everything under control and she is not afraid to tell the truth. Thomas's hobbies include fashion, designing, football, and eating. His words of advice are, always have confidence in yourself and treat others how you want to be treated. Freshman Angel Jackson and Thomas Reddit. This year's sophomore princess is Aviana Lachelle McMillan. She is the daughter of Dolores Laverne Metcalf and Aaron Darnell McMillan. She is a member of the Gosnell High School Dance and Track Team. After high school, she plans to attend college and study to become a moral safety. The person she admires most is her mom, because she pushes her to be great and to never give up. Aviana's hobbies are eating, dancing, scrolling on TikTok, 
gossiping with her best friend Jamia and sleeping. Her words of advice are, change the world by being yourself. This year's sophomore prank is Hunter Riggs. He is the son of Kenneth and Chrissy Riggs. He is a member of FFA and the Pirate football and baseball team. After high school, he plans to attend trade school to learn welding. The person he admires most is his papa because he was hardworking and honest. Hunter's hobbies include hunting with his brothers and hanging out with his girlfriend. His words of advice are, don't be pushed around by fears in your mind, be led by the dreams in your heart, by Roy Bennett. Sophomores, Aviana McGillan and Hunter Riggs. This year's junior princess is Leah Thompson. She is the daughter of Amanda Sawyer and Jeff Thompson. She is a member of the Boston High School softball team and the history team. After high school, she plans to move to Conway and become a cosmetologist. The person she admires most is her grandpa, because he is a very positive person and is always giving her life advice. Leah's hobbies are playing softball, sleeping, doing lash extensions and makeup, and hanging out with her best friend, Lexus. Her words of advice are, life isn't as serious as people make it seem. Play first and be bold. In the end, we only regret the chances we didn't take. This year's junior prince is Stephen McVay Jr. He is the son of Stephen McVay Sr. and Gary L. Blair. He is a member of the GHS football and track team and he is the heart of the FFA. After high school, he plans to go to college and one day start his own business. The person he admires most is his dad, because he is the hardest working person Stephen knows. He always pushes Stephen to be the best he can be in anything he does. Stephen's words in his life are, you will never believe in yourself if you keep comparing yourself to others. Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, praise the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Here is Leah Thompson and Stephen McDay. This year's senior princess is Mandy Sissel. Mandy is the daughter of Megan Sissel and Travis Sissel. She is a member of the History Club and FTS and a member of the Lady Pirate basketball and softball team. Her plans after graduation are to attend A-State, complete four years of early childhood education. Her dream is to become a teacher or open her own daycare. The person Mandy admires most is her older brother, Dylan because he is one of the hardest workers that she knows. He pushes himself beyond all limits and has such a kind soul. He would help anyone who asks him, and many hopes to be like him one day. Her hobbies are softball, basketball, and late night riding around with her best friend, Haley Dunn. Mandy's words of advice are, accept what is, let go of what was, have faith in what will be. Sometimes you have to let go to let new things come. This year's senior prince is Megan Cannon. Megan is the son of Betty Cannon. He is a member of Beta Club, FBLA, History Club, and FFA. He is also the senior class secretary and treasurer, as well as student council president. After graduation, he had plans to go to college and major in business. The person he admires most is his family, because they push him to be successful. Megan's hobbies include going to football games, church, and hanging out with his friends and family. His words of advice are, enjoy life, take the good along with the bad, and choose to be happy through it all. Seniors, Mandy Sissel and Nathan Cannon. This year's homecoming queen is Jakara McDay. Jakara is the daughter of Stephen McDay Sr. and Gary L. Blair. She is a part of the history club, FFA, FBLA, Beta Club, Prep Club, and Library Club. After graduation, she plans to attend college and become an X-ray technologist. Jakara admires her parents the most because they both go above and beyond for her no matter what. Her hobbies are hanging out with her friends and going to Friday night football games. Jakara's words of advice are don't lose yourself while trying to impress everybody else. This year's homecoming king is Cameron Williams. He is the son of Floyd Jr. and Candace Williams. 
He is a member of the Gaza High School football, basketball, and track team. His plans after graduation are to be committed to a Division I football program and earn his doctorate in psychology. The person Cameron admires most is his mother, because she always puts Cameron's well-being ahead of hers and loves him endlessly and unconditionally. His hobbies are fishing, going to the gym, playing football, going to church with his family, spending time with his brother, and laughing with his friends. Cameron's words of advice are, the same power that raised Christ from the dead also lives inside you. Have faith and never stop believing in yourself. The 2023 GHS Homecoming Freedom Team. To Tyra Miss Day and Cameron Williams. The crown bears for this year's royalty presentation are Callie Mace and Curly Cade McLaughlin. Callie Mace is the daughter of Cody and Rachel Mace. She's in kindergarten at Dawson Elementary. She's a member of Dawson Baptist Church, Awanas, and NS Home Tumblr. After high school and college, Callie plans to be a cheerleader and go to a college to be a teacher. The person she admires most is her mommy because she gives Callie apple juice and eats popcorn on the couch with her. She loves making crafts, playing outside with Ellie and Chloe, going to the lake, and hunting with her daddy. Callie's words of advice are, God is always with us. Curly McLaughlin is the son of Brandon and Karen McLaughlin. He is also in kindergarten here at Gosling. He is a member of Awanas at Gosling Baptist Church. His plan after graduation is to get a job at Newport. The person he admires most is his daddy because he takes care of Curly. He enjoys playing football with his daddy and Ellie, playing with Callie, and riding his bike. His words of advice are, you need to know Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a final round of applause for the Gosling High School Homecoming Court of 2022.
Ladies and gentlemen, immediately after the game tonight, the Gosnell Band will be performing, so please stick around and support them in all that they do. So again, after the game tonight, stick around for the Gosnell Band for their performance. Thank you. All right, we have some time left, so I'm going to test your knowledge on trivia. And the winner gets nothing. All right, question number one. In what year did football pass baseball and become America's favorite pastime? Is it, is it 1923, 1974, 1956, or 1965? 1965. Here's an easy one. What does the NFL stand for? The National Football League. All right. Which NFL team had a winless season in 2008? The Miami Dolphins, Dallas Cowboys, Baltimore Ravens, or Detroit Lions? Answer is Detroit Lions. In what year was the NFL established? In what year was the NFL established? Is it 1930, 1920, 1943, or 1955? The answer is 1920. How many teams are currently in the NFL? 12, 25, 35, or 32? 32. 32. Which football team is the oldest team in the NFL? Which football team is the oldest team in the NFL? That would be the Arizona Cardinals. In what year was the first ever NFL Super Bowl played? What year was the first Super Bowl play? That would be 1965. Which NFL team has never had a number one pick? Overall in the drafts, New England Patriots, Denver Broncos, Philadelphia Eagles, or the Chicago Bears? The Denver Broncos. Which NFL team has the most number one picks? Cincinnati Bengals, Minnesota Vikings, Indianapolis Colts, or the Kansas City Chiefs? We'll be, we'll be in that first coach. What is the only NFL team to have a perfect season? The Miami Dolphins in 1972, Pittsburgh Steelers in 1978, New England Patriots in 2007, or the San Francisco 49ers in 2019. The answer is Miami Dolphins in 1972. And if you think you want to see Tracy Dawson, you'll give you 50 cents.
Right, get ready to pick off the second half. All right, we'll kick it off with uh, points on the offense first. It's the Pirates in the first half. That's the kickoff. So, Laura getting set to kick from the 40s. Pick up the turn by number three, Ethan Chambers. Ball's going to be spotted on the 24, I believe. First and 10 points. How are Ethan taking the field? I mean, 47. Pirates have been. Uh, you came back. 
at the 24. So second down and 11 for the Hornets. Shot for the Pirates in the backfield. Serious Gonzalez. Third and 13. Starting the ball on the Pirate 31. Let's continue and we can take it for Daniel Smith on the carry. Near the 39, there's a flag on the field. Near the 40. Pirates back on the 29 yard line. We play the down. Trent Mills is number three, Cam Williams, and he's going to be taken down at the 25 yard line. That's going to be enough for a Gosla Pirate. And then some. Guy Jacobs again gets up the middle all the way down to the 14 yard line. So he just short of the first. So second down and about a yard. Yeah. 
Daniel Smith on the carry. Flags on the play near the 12. Against the Pirates. Move a block. He's going to be a stock foul, I believe, again. But they can start on the 22 yard line. Second and nine. Milton decides to keep it and gets hit pretty hard by the teammate in the block. Nice defense. Third and about 14. And three to number seven, Percy Wright. He gets down to the 15 yard line. And Chad Stewart threw that pass. For the score, touchdown, Pirates. Baskin Laura on the kickoff. Puts it down here to 20. Number three, Chambers on the return. Thank you. 
Going to score off the right side for some positive yards there. Second down and about five. And four. The pick up six yards. The ball started on the point. Nine. Sigmund Pirates football. Pirates will have the ball on the 30 yard line, first in the team. Number five, John Jenkins for the score. That's him, Pirates. Just off to the right. With five, ten to go in the third. Hornet seven. Your Pirates 45. How about them Pirates?
Beautiful kickoff. Pirates swarm the Hornets down on the 10 yard line. Will be fighting the team. To be first down for the point. How do we think on the field? Most of the jerseys on the far side of the field. Push out of bounds around the seven. Take it down for the Hornets. Incomplete, that'll bring up fourth down. Three. Three, that is Cam Williams on the three on the kickoff return. He gets down to the Hornet 20 yard line. First and 10 for the Parks. Off the left side, game of the yard, second and nine. Number one, Colin Young in for the score for the Pirates. Thank <laughs> you. 
There's a flag on the play here. Attempt is good. Starting in the ends of third quarter of play, the performance seven, the Pirates 53. Just a friendly reminder our band, Hustle Band, and Fox Hustle Band, will be performing right after the game. And they ask that you please sit around and check them out. Points get knocked out of bounds around the 29-yard line. To the first and team for the Hornets and Pirate defense taking the field. Ball for the <laughs> <laughs> Start down the for the team. Thank <laughs> you. 
Referee's going to spot the punt out of bounds at the current 49 yard line. First and 10. And it's keeping taking the field. Number 39 carried the ball to the park, so J.D. Young. Brandon Razor. He gets the first down for the Pirates. Nice walking by the line. Pirates on the point between the eight.
That's the Lord of Sixth for the Pirates. So he spotted on the Hornet 37 yard line. First and 10, power defense take the field. Number 59 taking on the game. And then Laura, number three, Jackie Smith. And one off the left side. Game about seven, second and four. Game about six. Third down, about nine for the Hornets. The ball started on that point. Thirty-eight. That's the ball game. Final score, Harrisburg Hornets 7. Your guys on Pirates, 61. Great game, guys. Great job. week our high school will travel to Jonesboro West Side. And I'd like to remind everyone please sit around for our high school thousand high school band. They didn't have a chance to perform at halftime. And that'll be performing
ladies and gentlemen, when you get done, we will have a performance by the Dalton Pirate Marching Band. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the field your Gosnell Pirate Marching Band. Last week on October 21st, your Gosnell Pirate Marching Band swept their classes at uh, the Paragould McDonald uh, Marching Invitational. First place band in Class A, first place drumline in Class A, they did an awesome job. Also, outstanding soloist Marissa McKinney. This year's show is entitled Dragon Hunt. Drum majors are Jonathan Mayberry and Andrew Bowens, soloist Marissa McKinney, and senior Jasper Pierce.
At this time, we'd also like to thank the Bible Masonic Lodge Chickasaba Number 134 for sponsoring our dinner tonight. Thank you so much. We'd also like to thank 4-H Graphics for our banner on our keyboard cart. Thank you so much. The heroes of the kingdom. Drum Major Jonathan Mayberry is your band ready. You may take the field for performance. Long ago, in a forest dark and deep, dwelt the dragon man. Who would be brave enough? To end this pain of terror, the heroes of the kingdom. <laughs> The heroes disappeared into the shadows of the forest 
where danger of it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're Gosnell Pirate Marching Band. Real quick, I'd like to um, kind of show some recognition to our seniors. Seniors, if you'll just go to the 50 for me. Zipporah Jenkins. Zay Woods. Drum Major Andrew Bowen. Jordan Ashley, Jasper Pierce, Cheyenne Barnett, 
Logan Flintwell. Chris Neil Sadler. Nick Dixon. And drum major, Jonathan Mayberry. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2024 band seniors. Thank you so much for all that you guys do. All right, those of you who are still here, please be safe getting out tonight. Be very careful on.